Proverbs chapter 22, please. God is helping us this morning in the name of Jesus. It matters how we are taught and it matters how we are mentored on the things of the spirit the scope of our spiritual understanding we'll read verse 2 and verse 7 Proverbs 22 verse 2 and verse 7 please let's read together one to read the rich and the poor meet together where do they meet in this space called the earth and the Bible says the Lord is the maker of them all God never made them so he made them all their decisions and their understanding separated them into these cadres the rich and the poor meet together the lord is the maker of them all so whether you choose to be abraham whether you choose to be lazarus whether you choose to be a rich man god still made you he did not make you that way he's the creator are we together now verse 7 is where it gets very disturbing read please one to read and the borrower is servant to the lender one more time please that means the rich unbeliever will rule over the poor prayer warrior the rich anything rules over the poor anything on anyone provided you are poor the disadvantage of poverty is that it subjects you to a point where you no longer have control of your time understand this we are dealing with time here if i am a servant i do not have luxury of my time again you tell me when to wake up that's why every time satan wanted to stop the timing of the arrival of jesus he will send israel to be slaves so that in slavery they did not have control over their time now please watch this there was a strategy in egypt There are so many things in my head lord grant grace be praying for me while you are listening to me huh? because there is a burden that a generation must offload once and for all otherwise very soon we will kill one another and eat our children was it not hunger that made two women to eat their children that that story has not stopped hunger will make even women if women eat their children imagine what the men will do to their children because can a mother forget her suckling child so by the time a mother turns her child into her meal when you send your daughter to a marriage that should not be because of financial advantage you eat your child So this this is not this is not the kind of teaching to choose whether you want to listen to or not you will be selfish ignoring this teaching because you are listening for the sake of a generation and your children born or unborn are we together Genesis chapter 42 I like us to read the first two verses Genesis chapter 42 blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus let's read together it's projected one to read now when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt stop where was corn corn in Egypt Egypt has always represented a place of bondage and captivity an antichrist structure but provided there was corn there the prophet said unto his sons why do ye look upon one another somebody is about to send his children to captivity because of corn verse 2 and he said behold i have heard that there is corn in egypt get you down thither and buy for us from thence that we may live and not die a prophet can die when there is no corn i'm a prophet but where we are now there is no corn and i've heard that there is corn in egypt it's not my desire to send you to a place of slavery but hunger will always take israel to egypt the only reason why israel goes to egypt is hunger i heard that there was corn 
in Egypt and I'm sending you to go there now eventually they got there and then there arose a Pharaoh that did not know Joseph and he turned God's people into slaves that's how they got there while they became slaves the privilege that was given to them was that the straw was given to them then they would make the bricks and the mortar the moment Moses came to propose an exodus this is what Pharaoh said is it not because you still have time to call upon your God the remaining time we gave you to rest you are now using it to call on God and hear that you should be free occupy them stop giving them straw let them use the remaining time it's a strategy that our generation is still suffering today the moment he sees that you still have three extra hours he will do something to the economy to make sure the remaining time is now used to look for money even as your soul prospers the world system is that you prosper even as your soul dies I can know what economy you are operating by not by looking at your bank account I look at the quality of your soul when I see that as you rise your soul dies I know that you have tampered with an economy that is not from heaven so Satan does not mind giving you money you will get gold as dust what he's looking for that's why the Bible says what shall it profit a man profit profit business now if he gains what the whole world and loses his soul you paid for the world with your soul like you pay for water with money the commodity of exchange is your soul when Satan took Jesus up the mountain they were not talking business material things bow to me just give me access to your soul and I will give you all of this that is still the strategy till today it's a battle of your soul my brothers and my sisters and it's a battle of time it's not a battle of affluence it's not a battle of pedigree and all of this a battle the real arch enemy of Satan is one who has both resources and a healthy soul because you pay the price with your soul I found this years ago and it changed my life that this is the mystery behind the decadence that continues to happen over people's spiritual lives you would notice that for many people maybe whilst on campus they still have some little time and then they give God everything and suddenly things begin to change by the time they get jobs they hardly have time for God and the moment the moment the devil knows that you are hearing him a sermon that will lift you he can make you promoted Satan doesn't always demote. He will do anything that will take your soul, including relocating you to a wealthy place. The idea has never been money. It's like a meter in the spirit. He looks at your life versus your time and your soul. The moment he finds out your soul is prospering, he would do something to your time. Battle of time. It takes time to know God it takes time to lock yourself for a whole day to say Lord reveal yourself to me I want to hear you the moment that happens here comes the PTA letter everything is growing except your salary your needs are growing the troubles are growing and then you look at your PTA letter and you hold it for a long time as if you are not seeing it and that pressure alone will make you to round up that prayer immediately you were browsing how to know God and you didn't know when you started browsing a fast way to pay a child's school fees enter even as your soul prospers the generation that will ignore this message is the generation that will pay for the, the price of their foolishness with their children I thank God for the person who is teaching you this because most times we think people teach finance because they do not have anointing they are trying to remedy for the frustration of not being spiritual so they choose an area that can explain away their lack of power it is very important to be balanced 
the area of imbalance becomes the edge of satan in a man's life satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself lack of resources has been the greatest basis of distraction if i ask all of us to write our prayer request now and i have the opportunity to read it i mean some will say must i write it i can't say it i need money i'm in trouble there's uh, the time to write i can say it. this is my problem listen to me the name of jesus you've heard me say is extremely heavy it takes money to carry it the name of jesus is extremely heavy it will take resources to lift up that name even as your soul prospers so he becomes a ceo and while he becomes a ceo his soul continues to go down you are buying the cars you are buying the houses but your soul continues to go down your children will follow after the backsliding state of your soul and the bible says you did not profit in that business of destiny you lost because you gave away your soul for wealth now here's where the attack comes if you say satan my soul belongs to god and i will prosper he will isolate you as a case study and say let me see the technology by which you will step into this system and still rise financially and then your soul will still prosper no bow to me and i will give you the treasures or refuse to bow and i will manipulate your time and your life to a point that it will compel you to bow notice they saw the ease with which jesus was doing ministry and they sent the scribes and the pharisees and they didn't seem to understand him the next set of people they sent were the tribute collectors they sent finance people come and do something to his time embarrass him corrupt his message create a case financially against him so that his message will not be heard and they brought the issue of tax not salmon not you are a good man you are changing society we had the other day that you healed a madman congratulations as the government we are happy mm -mm. that was not their concern we hear that you are doing this thing easy because you are not paying tax you claim to come from god you claim to be obedient but you are violating this and jesus looked at them and said peter go to the fish i i want to show you something you will not have power over my time i know what you are looking for go go to the fish take his coin give to him let him go then he said give to god what belongs to god and while you are doing so caesar will come immediately so make sure you prepare caesar's own so that as soon as caesar comes you give to caesar too what belongs to caesar if you give to god what belongs to god caesar will come the moment you start giving god time get ready
Caesar will send the tax collectors. He will send them as increased bills. He will send them as multiplied school fees. He would send them as the need to relocate. He will send them as an angry landlord who does not know why he's angry. And he said, while you are serving God, prepare Caesar's own. Because Caesar does not hear stories. Give him his coin. He said the peacemakers are those who inherit the earth you make peace when you settle both god and caesar if you settle god alone you will not have peace you are not a peacemaker you must find a way of settling caesar is god speaking to us today yes, god forbid but imagine that we're in this conference now and because of a need some financial need whether for personal or whatever reason we now after preaching powerfully like this the next thing i manipulate the prophetic grace upon my life and start seeing your account and say you stand up you have seven million five hundred thousand when I prophesy like that and you are shaking, I will use the opportunity to extract Caesar's own out of your account quickly. It may not be that I'm a bad man. While I saw that account, I just remembered my child's school fees. I said, how much is there? I mean, you can quickly smuggle out money. And because you are shaking under the anointing, you would think it's the anointing that is making me do all. The anointing came, but my flesh mixed with it because my belly is hungry even jacob goes to egypt to find bread when there is corn in egypt he can give away his sons i made up my mind that i will never worship money i made up my mind that in the name of jesus we will inspire a generation correctly but to do that you will need are we doing anything wrong help us please you will need resources satan hates men who have time and money it's like having water and fire together coexisting because he knows what you can do with time give a man time he can find god give a backslider time he can return to god give a cross person time he can find the cross and go back to the blessing but once you are distracted and there is no time was it not because there was time listen there was time that was why the disciples were listening to jesus a time came when satan started doing something and they said master we have left all our concerns are beginning to mount up you are keeping quiet about this what is our court in this tell us now because we've left too much and what is happening in the economy now is distracting our focus and jesus said i get it no man who has left this or that or that but you will gain this in this life when jesus was caught and went to the cross the disciples were angry in john 21 peter said i go a fishing let me go back to what i was doing with my time before this karma called jesus came to distract me and the remaining disciples said we go with you and then they went back and they were fishing and could not catch any fish because satan wanted to keep them there for as long as you don't catch fish you will continue but here jesus came my god jesus inspires me when you catch fish you will leave the sea but when there is no fish you will remain there let me show you how jesus solved that problem immediately jesus shows up he says little children do you have any catch your time is being wasted there and then he says cast your nets to the right side and they caught fish that there was no more need to stay there he said now you can come and give me your attention i want to tell you something that is a destiny information but i can't tell you because there is no fish in your net come and then when he sat down he now said forget the issue of fish simon bajona lovest thou me now simon had gotten fish he said yeah lord you know he said no feed my lamb how will i feed when the sea is not giving me fish 
it takes fish to feed his lamb when there is fish in your house you can feed his lamb please hear what i'm telling you i can tell you why there is a widespread of joblessness is related to the spiritual state of many young people in nigeria because the moment you are a graduate and there are so the, the burden is on you your father sees you praying you say you are doing dry prayer and fasting he will first keep quiet one day when he gets annoyed he will open that door While you are praying and say i was a pastor before you were born don't be stupid go out as a young man and look for something you will be forced to round up that prayer in the middle of a revelation that will answer a generation's question this is not about money my brothers and my sisters this is about the destiny of a generation as a function of time a very wonderful man come husband and wife you got married happy couples until money came are we together until what money issues came now she has twins and the guy said he didn't plan for twins but that doesn't change anything are we together now and that's where the trouble starts no food to eat in-laws are calling they now start hiding their monies from one another smuggling it through third-party bank accounts to reach to settle people quietly they start suspecting one another stealing from one another what a sword could not do money did it would tear this family into pieces the man who started ministry with integrity and truth when he started the ministry they were using a mat but now that they need a building the budget is three billion and he says i can't waste this prophetic grace first you would follow it quietly just give as god helps you nobody's i'm warning give as god is is talking to you and they now keep quiet later he says okay oh, mm, you will not see me free again because it looks like you people are abusing this grace This message is a message of exemption to take us away from that which can cause a man to waste his life and waste his destiny you can start ministry well as a pastor but the truth is that by the time your needs get overwhelming you will start choosing where to go so let me see how many members first and how many givers let me watch a video somewhere did they raise money i want to be sure of water because i'm leaving my wife and my children i'm hoping that this is the ministration that will bring my child school fees now the day you get there rain falls and people don't come and you are angry while you are preaching and people don't know why because you've calculated it look let, let me tell you something my brothers and my sisters if it is God you want to serve you will not serve him carelessly you serve God with intelligence there are things that must be settled to allow you the time to worship God are we together you always hear me say it 
that people go to pray and spend six hours you think they are crying for souls you think in the prayer they are having encounters they are worrying 80 percent of the time they're on the ground thinking just because they are not out for you to see you can think that they've spent six hours praying lord why is my life like this is this how I will, will i serve you and die this way is this how everything about my life is going to be and while that is happening satan will manipulate someone to send a text to say i'm sorry i didn't want to tell you but i need to tell you i've watched your life and this your serving god is a shame the devil will use it and add you see you see god you see what i'm saying now it's a shame they say it's a shame and you will get up with a negative conclusion that as far as me and God, have you seen people who tell you, I used to do this? Don't if it's tongues, I prayed in tongues, but don't even bring that issue. Night vigil, I started my night vigil from four till they will tell you that. Say yours that you are doing just nine to two. Is that vigil? I prayed from nine to two. Where is the God? Our children will not go into slavery because of hunger. Are we blessed yes that you can lock your house with your wife and children and say this week we're spending time with God and when Caesar comes you say Caesar I will open the gate check somewhere there there are fishes pick your coin and go back Caesar will always go back when there is coins the strength of Caesar is when there is no coin he will harass you just when you want to worship God some people from your village will just come in a van that they came to greet you they say we've heard about what God is doing and we we, we just came to spend time and now you are in a tight corner because you have to honor them the budget already is running into something that will stop your prayer How will I call on your name and end up in shame? No way. No way. How will I bow my knees before you and then bow down before a man? No way. this morning now listen very carefully the Bible says Jesus is speaking and he gave a parable he said the kingdom of God is likened to a man having a pearl a precious pearl and that it fell somewhere in darkness and the first thing that man did was to find a candle to find what to recover the, the treasure you need two things a candle and a broom he said he got a candle lit that candle and began to sweep that room wherever that pearl is you must come out to sweep the room and the moment it came he found it so when you find out that something is not in your life you need light the light of god exact spiritual illumination not just a random communication of truth there is an exact body of truth allocated for the financial blessing of the saints it's a body of knowledge that can be exhausted it's not random the truths of scripture will not cover for themselves randomly no you are you can be blessed and anointed and heal the sick and still be poor because the truths do not replace they complement so the presence of one truth will not automatically solve the problem of another